Right, so I've had a few hours on it. Uh, this is probably the first and last session of this week, so I thought I'd do a video and uh, show you what I've been up to. Um, so you can see I've now got three subs test fitted, two more which I'm struggling with a little bit, but they will go in. Uh, the top one is pretty much there now, not far off. Just needs a little bit more taking out in the corner there. Uh, it's actually the other side rather than this side. Um, the uh, needs taking out a little bit and blending into the uh, the pod basically on this on the other side. So yeah, once that's sorted, that will slot pretty much straight in. The other one I've only just started doing, so it's not anywhere near yet, but uh, it's not too far away. You'll notice uh, one thing, um, rather than, I told you in the last video, sorry about the dust flying around by the way, it's everywhere. Um, yeah, so basically I'm not having these rubber surrounds on here, I'm just going to have lights and a nice covering and various other things. So I've taken off uh, three, can't see the other one, but I've taken off three of the... Uh, um, surrounds there basically just so that they're basically fitting properly look as they're going to be um rather than all this sort of stuff flapping about everything else um so yeah they're looking looking quite good so i'll i'll do a part two to this video as well because i've got to do a seat test fit uh to make sure they're not gonna get anywhere near the subs and stuff um and i want to make sure the other side where i'm going to build this section too i might not even bother doing a video for that but we'll see how it looks um so yeah there you go that's where we are so far i'll do part two in a sec Right, it's part two. Uh, got the driver's seat um, test fitted, basically. Um, so I did try doing the passenger side. However, uh, there's a bit of an issue because the how it's been made now. So basically, I've, I've changed. You'll see the shape obviously changed. The back's a lot higher. We, weirdly, it's actually comfier, but there you go. Um, it's a lot higher, so I've changed the angle of it. So it's got more room for um, behind the sub, so I don't hit it, basically. That's the idea. Plenty of room behind there. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, basically because they've been made like that now the other side floor wise is slightly higher um, I'll check it with the other seat I've got I mean I've only tested it with this one I'll check it with the other one just in case it's a bit smaller uh, but I think they're pretty much the same um, so what I'll have to do I'll have to modify the subframe that I've got on it it's not like a proper subframe it's like a custom made sort of just bit of metal bracket basically so I'm going to chop that off to give you about another inch lower uh, and then make sections out the front to bolt it down with basically that's the idea so yeah, this this one obviously technically at the moment it's like you can see it's way too high near the roof. It needs a bit of clearance there, so it's one of those things. But I do want it to provide a bit of a uh, um, a bit of something to basically load the, the, for the subs to load against. Basically, that's the idea. That's the plan of action. Um, so yeah, basically that's the it's end the other side. I'll say it doesn't quite fit yet, but uh, you can see how much room there is behind there. So there's plenty of room for the subs to move about. You can see just about. There we go. There we are. Um, so yeah, there we are. I'll do a bit of that. Actually, I'll, I'll probably modify the, the subframes a bit later on during the uh, during the week. Actually, and then next week I'll do a video of it with both of them fitted. I think so you can see what it's going to look like. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's probably it for this week. Let me know what you think. Feel free to comment and uh, subscribe if you can.